Hi everyone, I'm JT Pilot, and today I'll be making another video. This time I'll be reviewing this one point scale Gemini Jets Frontier Airline, Airline Service A320 Neo. And this is in the Poppy the Prairie Dog Tail, and this is version of Free or Free Fox Sharp Romeo. So this model is part of the Gemini Jets September 2022 releases, which I received a couple days ago. So, yes, yeah, so this model I mainly I ordered this model so I can have another Frontier model since all Frontier models have different tails. I really want some rotation in my model airport, so. Yeah, so this Gemini Jets model, it's okay. It's basically what you expect for a Gemini Jets A320 model. It's just okay. I mean, this model is it's pretty mediocre, pretty mid. That's what I kind of classify this model as. There's just some issues with this model. Um, yeah, so at least my model did come better than the Gemini Jets one they advertise um, on their Instagram with the rock ship engines. This one does have rock ship engines, though. And overall, this model is just okay. This is a satisfac yeah, satisfactory. And yeah, it's just okay. So that's all I really got to say about the um, model itself. So great to have another Frontier model, but other than that, it's just okay. So yeah, so this is how I do re reviews for these models. So I review the box model first, and then I do an in-depth analysis of this model. And then after that, I, I score this model with my JT score, which consists of 11 categories. So now let's just start with the box of this model. All right, so moving on to the box of this Gemini Jets model. And yeah, so this is your normal Gemini Jets box. Yes, yeah, so this is their medium-sized box for their nearby jets. So yes, yeah, normal blue box, so. Yeah, so on the top left here, your Gemini Jets logo. Here are the May Collectors, Buy Collectors on the top right. Here we have the computer image of this model, which looks correct, which is good. Um, unlike the real life model, which the real life model looks like this, but yeah, pretty unfortunate. And this, the computer image is a little saturated, so. And then moving on to the bottom of this box, we have the Frontier Airlines logo right there. Great to see that on the Gemini Jets model. It's been a long time since Gemini released a Frontier E320 Neo model. Last time you released a Gemini, last time Gemini released a E320 E320 from Frontier Airlines was in 2017, so it's been a really long time. And yeah, so great to see that Gemini does start doing Frontier models again, so, yes. All right, so looking inside this model, so look inside the, I mean, the inside the box, so look inside the font now, so here we have some uh, information about this aircraft. Feel free to pause here if you'd like to read to learn more information about this aircraft. And we got some specifications for this specific aircraft, and yes, yeah, so. Yes, yeah, so and this Frontier Neo has won their first E320s they've received way back in 2016, so. Yeah, crazy to say it's been that long ago since Frontier started taking deliveries of their E320 Neo, so. Yeah. And here's the inside of the box right here, so looking great there. All right, so we're sticking on to the bottom of the small, so here, I mean the bottom of the box, sorry. So here, Gemini Jets logo, one for scale die cast model, we got their false guarantees there. Right side of the box there. Top of the box, left side of the box. And then proceeding on to the back of this box. So here's the back of the box, pretty um generic, but yeah, so here we have the computer image of this aircraft taken off, so looking great there. And this is your normal Gemini Jets back of the box here, as real as it gets, and Gemini Jets false guarantees, high collectible, maybe. Superior quality, maybe. Realistic man landing gear, maybe. Detail printing graphics, yeah, they're yeah, they're pretty good. As real as it gets features, no. And then here we have and then yeah. Then here we have Gemini Jets social media right there. You just highly recommend to follow them if you don't get blocked by Gemini Jets, so. Yes, I, I'm, I'm unfortunately blocked in an Instagram account just because I make honest reviews. Really unfortunate, so. It's great customer service by Gemini Jets, by the way, so. Yeah, just want to let you know about that. Yes, they do make some good models, okay? They do make some good models, but, you know, they got to improve their customer service. Um, yeah. I've been here with the Gemini Jets copyright down there, 2022 logo right there, and this is a September 2022 release. All right, so we're seeing on to the model itself. So yes, here's the in-depth analysis of this model. So this is your typical Gemini Jets A320 Neo model. It's just okay, really mediocre, like I said earlier in this video. So it's got typical engines like massive engines, weird nose shape, and more. So yeah, really unfortunate, so yeah. All right, so we're seeing onto the nose portion of the model. So start with the first part of the model, which is the nose on the model. So yes, the nose isn't looking too good. Um, the, the slip of the nose is really weird, especially towards the cockpit window region, which your cockpit windows look very squished in there. Yeah, not really aligned too well, so that's really unfortunate. So yeah, that's not looking too good, so. Yeah, so we got the nose cone right there. We've got some PO tubes here. The Poppy the Prairie Dog tiles right there. Here the Elwyn door right there. Here the blue line right there. The nose landing gear right there, which is a little bit slanted, which is correct. So we got the blue stripe right there, which ends towards the wing, uh, wing fuselage joint area. Here we have the Frontier logo right there, which looks fun. Amazing, good printing, um, good fun, and yes, good, great colors of that. Then we have the Mercy Escape doors right there. Then we have the Mercy Escape pass on the wing, wings, which is looking great. Then we have the Shark on the which looks fun, amazing, with Poppy the Party Dog on it. The Shark has a great shape and a great angle to it. Here are the engines on the small, which the engines are still massive on the small, not as massive as the previous release, which I may compare at the end of this video. Um, yes, yeah, so surprisingly, Gemini has made some improvements to the 2017 release, but there's still some issues, and this is a 
probably the same about that. The engines are still massive, and yes, and they do tilt on some models, so really unfortunate there, so. Don't know, don't know really, don't know, just don't know. It's really unfortunate, so. Yeah. And proceed on to the back portion as well. So here we had the L2 door, and we had the registration, which is Nora Free, a free Fox Shot Romeo, Western United States. We got flyfrontier.com right there. And we got a Poppy the Prairie Dog Tail, which looks good. It's a little mosaic, and it's, yeah, it's, it's not really printed too well. But other than that, the tail looks great. And the tail does have a good shape, and the vertical stabilizers and horizontal stabilizers, horizontal stabilizers, they look great, so. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get some final shots of the left side of this model. We're gonna be proceeding onto the back, back side of this model. All right, so we're seeing to the back portion as well. So here they have the horizontal stabilizers and vertical stabilizers. These look great. And here are the electric power unit right there, exhaust. Yeah, the electric power unit exhaust right there, which looks great. A little squish, but I'm not. Jonah did a great, great job with that. And there's no wing flex on this model, which is very shocking for Jonah to this model. But the back of this model actually looks really great. All right, so here are the bottom part of the model. So here are the bottom tail right there. Here are the Jonah did right there, which is a little bit smaller on this model. Here are the wing landing gear right there. Here are the anti collision light slash beacon light. And here are the nose lane gear, which looks fun and amazing. All right, so we're seeing to the front side of the smell. So here are the front side of the smell. So here are the copy winds, which don't look too great, but yeah. And then here are the insides of CFM Leap engines. Those look great and have really great fan belly details there. So great job, Jim Odessa slash JC Wings. And yeah, nose lane gear is looking fairly decent. And yes, and the wings are looking fairly decent as well. All right, so proceeding on to the top of the smell. So here are the antenna right there. And then proceeding on to the middle portion of the smell. So here are the anti collision light there, slash so your beacon light looking great. Here are the Mercy Escape Pass right there, which are looking great. We got another antenna right there, another antenna there. And then we got the top of the tail, which looks fun, amazing. So this model does not have any free aerials on the underside of this model. Pretty unfortunate, so. All right, so we're standing to the right side of this model. So the right side is the same deal as review, but this time it has the, the R1 and the R2 door, and it has some bag tools. So we got a couple bag tools right here, and then we got some more bag tools right here. So I'm gonna get some fun shots of this side of the model, and then I'll be Concluding this review, and I'll be scoring this model with my JT score. All right, so that does conclude this one frame scale model aircraft review. Now we're proceeding onto the scoring section of this model with my JT score, which consists of 11 categories, and nine of them are based out 10 points, and two of them are based out five points, all adding up to 100 points. And this model, we're receiving a letter grade at the end of this video with a percentage. So. Yeah, so we'll, we'll have to see how well this model does. So, start with the first category, which is the fuselage on this model. So, the fuselage is good. It is a little chunky, though, which generally still has not installed. So, really unfortunate there. So, the fuselage is just receiving a 9 out of 10. Moving on to our next category, which is the nose on this model. It isn't too good. I'm. It isn't too good. I'm, I'm sorry. It's just not too good. The copy wings are a little smushed. They have a weird shape to them. And the nose overall has a weird shape. So, the nose is just receiving a 6 out of 10. So... Not too good. I really wish Jonah would improve their nose and make it actually look like a real life AB20, but nope. They have to make, they still have to have this weird nose shape they have had since 2015, so they gotta fix that. So, yes, in order to compete with some 1400 model brands, so they gotta fix it. Yeah, moving on to our next category, which is the tail portion of this model. So, the tail we're receiving a 9 out of 10 just because probably the Prairie Dog is slightly, um, yes, is a little slightly pixelated, so. Really unfortunate, but other than that, the tail is perfect, has a great shape. And yes, the tail portion of the small receiving a 9 out of 10. Moving on to our next category of the small, which is the wings on the small. So the wings are great on the small. They have no wing flex, and the chocolates are a great size, so the wings will be receiving a 10 out of 10. Moving on to our next category, which is the engines on the small. So the CFM Leap engines are good. They, yeah, they have good details, but they're way too large still. They have got to fix that problem. Jim has got to fix the problem. They could be sh shaped slightly better, actually. So. The engines are just receiving a 7 out of 10. Moving on to our next category, which is the livery on this model. So the livery on this model, uh, yeah, the livery receiving a 9, yeah, well, the livery receiving a 9 out of 10. So the livery is good on this model, besides the tail portion being a little pixelated. And the frontier colors could be slightly improved. However, that the livery is really great on this model. So the livery receiving a 9 out of 10. The details on this model receiving a 10 out of 10. This model is really well detailed. Jimmy did a really great job detailing this model, and they did an, a great job detailing all the new releases. Great job, Gemini. I like to applaud them for it, especially their, um, free, yeah, especially the printed details. They were great on their models recently, so good job, Gemini. Moving on to our next card, which is the aerials on the small. Yes, this small does have any underside aerials, which is pretty unfortunate since our Gemini models have them. Don't get why Gemini can't include them on the bottom of their models anymore. So the aerials are just receiving a 7 out of 10. The quality control on the small is just receiving a 4 out of 5 because that weird no shape mainly, and some of these Frontier Petronians have come with rock ship engines, so. Yeah, pretty unfortunate there. 
Moving on to our next card, which is a collectability as well. That was just receiving a four out of five, just because lots of Frontier Neos have been made recently. I've have, I've just been a picky um, collector. I've been looking for some good quality ones. This is fairly good quality, but not as good quality as if Inju or Panda were releases, but still way better than the Air Classics counterpart. And yes, Air Classics did make this exact same tail a couple of years ago, and it wasn't the best model. So yes, but Air Classics have been releasing a lot of Frontier Neos recently. So if you're looking for a different tail and you don't care about the model, how do you recommend getting this? But the Gemini model is still superior about, so. Yeah, so the final score for this model, drumroll please, will be an 84 out of 100 or B, an 84%. Can I believe I have given a Gemini E320 model an a B? It's just crazy to say, but Gemini have improved their Frontier Neo mold, just a, I mean, their E320 Neo mold, a little bit. Some people have said they improved it a lot, but not really. I mean, it's just okay. It's still an okay model. Is this satisfactory? It's just okay. It's just pretty mediocre. It's it's just okay. That's all I gotta really say about this model. It's just okay. If you need a Frontier model, get it. I would wait for NG or Painted to release this model because I'm willing to bet NG is going to release this model soon. Maybe a different tale, of course. Um, but if you're really in des desperate need of a Frontier Neo, get this model. If you're not, I would just wait for NG or Painted to release this model. So that's my, um, yeah, yeah, that's just, that's just my advice to you, all of you collectors. So, yes. So I'm JT Pod. I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. So I'm going to be providing a brief channel update. So this week we, sh we should be having a new Jaxel Fiction Model Airport update. And yesterday in reviews are back. So this week we'll have some Model Aircraft reviews. Um, great to see some. Great to see the reviews coming back. And yes, just because I'm only uh, I'm only receiving four models, then I decided not to make a massive unboxing. Instead, I'll be doing some individual reviews. I know maybe you have enjoyed these individual reviews. So I'll be bringing them back just for a little bit. Don't worry. Massive unboxings will be returning in October. We'll be having a pretty massive one. So. Just stay tuned. So that's it for the channel today, and that's it for this video. So I am JT Pilot, and I'd like to thank y'all so much for watching this video, and have a wonderful day. Bye.